KPGTN, Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. Let me turn to Amita Bagosh here in Washington. He's a space scientist who has been working on NASA Mars missions since 1997. Uh, Amita Bagosh, welcome to the program. Just want to begin by <laughs> asking your reaction to this groundbreaking mission. What will you be looking for in the months ahead? So I think this is a very interesting and important development. Imagine we are in the 21st century, and if somehow um, an asteroid the size of maybe the the size that that caused the dinosaur extinction hit us, we still don't have a way or a plan to defend ourselves. You know, we see the. I mean, aside from these movies that come out like Armageddon, where you say that okay, with with a nuclear device you can blow it up. No, that doesn't really work. But the moment because the momentum does not transfer, so it's very hard to change the trajectory of a body uh, like as heavy as an asteroid, as big as an asteroid. So, but this is I, at, at least the first step of a plan which might actually work. So, so the approach is you take a projectile, which is in this case a spacecraft, and at a high speed, you um, impact the asteroid uh, with the hope that the momentum is going to change. And this will change uh, the velocity and the direction of the velocity just very slightly such that it averts a uh, collision with Earth. How abundant are asteroids and how far in advance can they be detected or traced? Okay, the first question, um, between Mars and um, uh, Jupiter, there are millions of asteroids. Nearer Earth, they're probably uh, between 10,000 and 100,000 asteroids. How quickly can they be detected depends on, so, so imagine there are 25,000 near Earth asteroids you're track, tracking. You have to keep watch on each of them and find the trajectory of each of them. And then using a computer, you have to cal calculate the likelihood that it's headed towards us. So it depends on how widespread your um, asteroid observation system is. And right now, uh, I, as far as I can tell, I mean, uh, very, very few countries do this as type of monitoring. Are you optimistic this mission will be successful and this spacecraft will hit the asteroid and knock it out of the way for planet Earth? No. So it was never headed for planet Earth. So, so that question doesn't arise. But yes, I'm confident that this will cause a very small change in its uh, um, orbital, um, in, its, in its velocity. Um, and so it's a very small change, but at the same time, it will be kind of a pilot test to see whether such an approach can work or well, not. Before I let you go, where was this asteroid headed? The, see, asteroids move in between the orbits of Earth and Moon and Mars everywhere. So it, they don't have to actually head somewhere. So when they come within the influence of a planet's gravity or, or the moon's gravity, they would be headed that way. But this asteroid um, just revolves around its parent asteroid. So this is called Dimorphos. It's the moon and the parent as asteroid is called Didymos. Okay. So, so it was not headed towards that. Okay. The first place. All right. Well, thank you for the correction. And I know once again, this is a test experiment to see if it will be successful or not. Our thanks to Amitabha Ghosh. Still ahead, a deal.